Good. Good. Hello, everyone. Good. Okay. Hello everyone, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, <laughs> depending on which country, what part of the world you are. Okay, so I decided to just sit down today and talk with you people, okay? All right, so let's do this. We're just going to be talking about how about life. We're going to be talking about uh, benefits of um, taking chamomile tea or any green tea in general. Let me adjust my hair. <laughs> okay, so it's morning here, and it's the weather is like not so good. It's raining, very windy. All right, happy new week. Some of you might be at work or on your way to work. Okay, so let me put this here because this is what we will be talking about. This. I hope you can see this. The chamomile tea. Yes. All right. So let's just dive into the topic of the day. Slowly, we're just going to start we're waiting for some people to just join in so we can start. All right, excuse me, madam. All right, all right. So from the topic, you have a clue, you know what we're going to be discussing. So we're just going to talk about this green tea because we're okay we're talking about chamomile but actually we're talking about green tea in general or the different type of tea black tea and every other healthy tea that it's good for you for someone to take once in a while or every other day okay so for me one of my best teas that i love is chamomile tea the reason why i love this chamomile tea is just it's not really, it's not just because of okay, it's chamomile, it's chamomile, and um, chamomile, a lot of people talk about chamomile. I just love the, mm, the aroma. I love the, 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 the scent. It's so calming, it's so soothing. It just gives you this, mm, from the moment you start making it, you can just, like the whole room, the whole kitchen, the whole house would just be overtaken with this kind of really beautiful smell. I don't, I don't know. Leave me a comment if you love the smell. If you don't, <laughs> but I just love how light the tea is. Hmm, let me take a sip. This is just something else. The tea is so, so good. It is so good. Okay, so one of the, reason, the reasons why I love chamomile tea is because chamomile tea is one of the teas that helps you in relieving stress. So if you're like, after the day's chores, like you've been from work to, if you have family, you're running the family and every other thing that you do in life that stresses you out, after your daily, you know, when it's time for you to go to bed, when you're back home, just before you go to bed, it is good for you to make a good, you want some? It is, it is good for you. Sorry, guys, I have my little one here. It is good for you to just make a cup of chamomile tea, take it, 
before you go to bed because it will help you to relieve stress and not only to relieve stress it will also help you to sleep good so i will just mention a few because the family health benefit is just numerous like you, you sometimes i feel like you cannot even keep track of it because there's been so many health benefits of chamomile is just so so many so i will be mentioning few here and if you have noticed or if you have not noticed take note start looking out most of the products you use in your house in your home depending on the type of product from uh dish washing um you know liquid to cream uh hair product products for the skin you will always find something even uh baby uh baby wipes and stuff like that you will always find some of them that has chamomile extract in them uh that's because chamomile is just one of the most healthiest um herbs out there so it's always used in um the cosmetic industry beauty industry they always add some of this in their beauty products that they are making and you know the um it, it helps to treat a lot of internal stuff too not just for the skin or outward your hair and so on and so forth so let me just mention some of some of the stuff that chamomile is good for chamomile helps you to relieve stress as i mentioned earlier so if you take a cup of chamomile tea in the wow. evening that will help calm you down and just put you in a good place where you can go to bed and enjoy your sleep sorry guys where you can enjoy it gives you uh, this calmness and helps you to go to sleep and secondly um chamomile improve your sleep just as i said if you're stressed you take a cup of chamomile tea it relieves the stress and helps you to sleep well it helps with insomnia um it also supports uh skin health as i talked about when i mentioned um Uh, beauty products and um, or you know those other stuffs that we use for our hair our skin and stuffs like that because chamomile it's good so you always find a bit of it in all these products that we use like our cream our soap so on and so forth hair products um it also helps in dig- in digestion you know so it aids in digestion so if you're someone that you know sometimes you just and you feel like oof I'm not comfortable and all that just make yourself a good cup of chamomile tea drink it it will help digest whatever is stressing you out in there in your stomach chamomile tea excuse me uh also promotes it helps with healthy hair so my little one is in here distracted me <laughs> so you can boil chamomile and um use the word wash your hair is very good or you can buy products out there that are made already that has chamomile in them hair products and use it it's very good for your hair uh chamomile uh chamomile is good for liver health for your liver so if you, if you it is good to consume sorry guys It is good to consume chamomile tea every now and then because it also help your liver to function properly. Uh chamomile tea is also good for inflammation. So you can use it and it's good for wounds too, to treat wounds, inflammation and stuff like that. I remember I'll just tell you a short story about it. I remember once that uh my child I put her hand in my eyes and my eyes were just I couldn't like it was so painful it hurt so bad and I was just trying out every other thing and then it, it actually escaped my mind that chamomile is also good for inflammation and stuff like that and, you know when you have some type of irritation and all that and then someone mentioned to me did you use chamomile on your eyes and I was like how can I not remember like something that I have 
in the kitchen, I brought up like I drink the mommy tea almost every day. And how did I not remember? So I just went and I made my chamomile tea. I boiled the tea. Um, after boiling, after boiling the tea, I allowed it to sit for a while. Then, sorry, <laughs> I allowed it to sit for a while. When it was room temperature, not too hot, not too cold, um, I took my cotton wool, dipped it in the chamomile tea and placed the cotton wool on my, let me take a sip. And I placed the cotton wool on my eyes and I just laid there on the couch for a while with my hands up, placed it on um, both eyes and let it sit for a while. When I removed it, sorry, everyone, sorry for the noise. My little one is in here playing. She left her cartoon that she's supposed to be watching. <laughs> okay, so when I removed the cotton wool from my eyes, I could not feel the pain. I was blinking my eyes like, you know, I was thinking it to take a while, you know, like maybe five, 10, 15 minutes before the pain will start going down gradually. I'm telling you, immediately I removed the cotton wool from my eyes. I could not feel any pain anymore. And after a while, my eyes were clear, like my eyes were clean. Like I was like, what? I didn't even like it's not as if I put this inside my eyes. I just placed it above my eye and closed my eyes and just stayed there, allowed it to sit for a while before I took it out. And the result was just unbelievable. So if you ever have such problem, you should try it out. Prepare your chamomile tea, dip a cotton wool inside it, place it, place it on your eyes, not a hot tea, a warm one. Okay, so um, chamomile tea will help boost your immune system. Come on, who doesn't want that? Or who doesn't love that? <laughs> So, this is also one of the reasons why you should consume more chamomile tea because it will help in boosting your uh, immune system. Chamomile tea will also help in regulating your blood sugar. Isn't that great? Tell me now, isn't that great? So, there's just so many. These are the few um, benefits that I just want to talk about today because there are so, so many health benefits of chamomile. So if I want to start counting them, we will just keep going for hours and hours and we will not finish talking about each and every one of the benefits if you really want to dive into each, each and every one of the benefits. So my advice to you is, because I know a lot of people love drinking coffee. Coffee is the number one thing. Like, you wake up in the morning, first thing, oh, my coffee, my coffee, my coffee. Sometimes you just have to put your coffee aside and go for your green tea, be it chamomile tea or any other of the green tea that is available to you to drink it. For me, I have this green, um, chamomile tea. I also drink Lord Nelson. That's like a brand that makes um, different types of uh, teas i also love them and they, they have one that is really really good that's like red the tea is like red because it has some type of berries in there that's also another one i drink when i'm not drinking chamomile tea and i love to drink my chamomile tea in the evenings mostly before i go to bed that's that that's like my go-to tea before i go to bed almost every day almost but not every day uh then Sometimes in the morning when I wake up, either I make chamomile tea or I make the other one like I just mentioned that is from Lord Nelson. Uh, that one has a lot of stuff in it too, and it smells so good and it tastes so so good. Okay, so try it out. Instead of drinking coffee, coffee or um, some people drink a lot of chocolate drinks and stuff like that. Sometimes you can just switch it up. Drink uh, drink your chamomile tea. Drink any of your herbal tea. Oh, <laughs> hello, sis. <laughs> Are you back? I'm look. I'm looking at the. What's the time? 
Are you serious? <laughs> Hello. I was expecting you to be in school right now and not at home. Okay, we're just sitting here and talking about herbal tea. Ah, <laughs> you were going, you're going out or you're just coming back? Oh, wow. Wow, that was, that was early. And you stayed up late yesterday. Ah, why tea grinding, huh? <laughs> wow. Welcome back. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so, so much. The weather here is so bad. It is raining like since yesterday. Um, it's been since yesterday morning. It's been raining morning. until now. It has not stopped. The weather is so so bad. It's really windy and it's raining. So I just decided to sit here a little bit and talk about some herbal tea and health benefits, why people should drink more tea instead of coffee and uh, chocolate drinks and some other type of drinks. It's just good sometimes to switch it up, to take tea instead of chocolate drink to um, mostly chamomile tea, which is like one of the healthiest tea out there with so, much, uh, so many health benefits. So that's what we're talking about today. And I mentioned some of the health benefits of, of chamomile. This is just going to be a short live stream because I'm just trying to look at the weather so I can share the video, workout video for the week. <laughs> so I said before I go and do that, I will just come in here and talk about this beautiful herbal tea that has so many health benefits. Come on, it's okay, sis. I understand. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> God forbid you won't, sis. <laughs> you won't, you won't. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh, good. That's not going to happen at all. It won't, it won't happen. I see we have people in here. Please don't be shy to comment so I can welcome you properly. I see people are watching, but they're not leaving a comment. If you don't leave a comment, I will not know who you are. Uh, but if you're one of those people that love to stay in the background and just listen, you are welcome. You are welcome. Please give the host a thumbs up. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. I'm grateful, even though I don't know who you are. But if you don't mind, leave a comment so I can welcome you properly. Yes, we have Christiana flourishing in the building. Hello, Christiana. How are you? How are you? Happy New Week. Happy New Week to you. Oh, sis. And you were still able to wake, to wake up that early. It's like, <laughs> it is just unbelievable. Because I, I was, that's how my eyes were shining when I, when I saw you. I was like, what is she doing here? Like, I wasn't expecting you, you know? 
I wasn't expecting to see you because I was like, you, you will be in class by now. I'm good, Christiana. I'm good. I um, I was supposed to be preparing a workout video, but the uh, weather is not giving me space to do that. The weather has been very bad. It's been raining since yesterday and all that. So I decided to just come in here, sit down, and um, talk about some herbal life, you know, talk about why people should consume more herbs in the form of tea or any form that is um, that you are used to or that is known to you because there are different ways that people consume herbs like um, in um, africa like africans we consume herbs in different way in different ways uh sometimes as tea you know, bold and all that. We have those that we make with the lemongrass, um, guava leaf, uh, guava leaf, mango leaf, and um, so many other plants in the excuse me in the forest that we boil them and then we use them for like the malaria treatment, the one that they boil in the big giant pot, and then. They put a seat, they open the pots, and they cover you with a huge blanket, and you sit in there to absorb the heat. You know, so there are so many ways that we Africans consume uh, the, uh, the rest of the world. I think most people only take help as if it's tea, you know, like just drink by all these big brands like Lord Nelson and all those other lifting and those other uh, brands that are out there that are making about tea. So today we were just talking about chamomile tea and the health benefits of chamomile tea. And I just mentioned how chamomile tea. Thank you very much for the thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. I'm grateful. Thank you. So I uh, was just talking about how chamomile tea has so, so many health benefits. Uh, sometimes people people don't even notice, or people really don't know how good chamomile tea is. It's just like it's just it's just a tea, you know. It's just a tea, but it's not just a tea. It's like uh, it is very medicinal. Uh, so I mentioned few stuff that is good for, and reasons why people should take them because it helps to relieve stress. And in this world that we live in, we know that. Sometimes we get very stressed out with work, family, uh, society. Uh, sometimes in some countries, just like going, going out of the house alone is so stressful because you're stuck in traffic. Uh, for those that don't have their, uh, personal rides, like vehicle of their own, that don't own a car, that has to travel with public transport before they get to their place of work, they're so stressed out because they have to wake up early to beat the traffic. So I was just explaining how it is good to take chamomile tea before going to bed in the evening. So it will help calm you down and help you to sleep. And it is, it is also good for people that are suffering with this insomnia stuff. It will help put you to sleep and you will have a very good night rest. Uh, Christina Florishin said, I like most water. Like, you, you like to drink water. If I understand the comment. Oh, really? Oh, Vanessa Mugwale said, Christina, me too. After water, I go with coffee. Tea, I don't really like. Oh, really? <laughs> really? Of course, water is very good. We all know that water is very healthy. Uh, like that's like the number one thing. It's good to drink water, but sometimes you, uh, you can switch the coffee with tea because it is very good, you know. But I know that even at the beginning of the LSI, I mentioned that I said a lot of people love to drink coffee because it's, that's like their go-to, either coffee or... Uh, most most Africans who go for the chocolate drink, 
uh, the cocoa, cocoa drink. Aha, someone is here. Sorry, I didn't see you. Amara, Amarakata, you are welcome. You're welcome. Sorry, I was reading the, uh, what Vanessa Gumbo Wale and uh, Christiana said. Sorry, you are welcome. You're welcome, Amara. You're welcome. Thank you very much for the thumbs up. Thank you. Yeah, so um, Vanessa and Christiana, yes, drinking uh, water is very good. Right. But sometimes instead of drinking water and coffee, then it's better for you to include your um, tea. If you can lay your hands, any, any of the green tea is very good because the health benefit is just so much. The health benefit is so much, mostly from uh, chamomile tea. Chamomile tea has so, so, so many health, health benefits that we just cannot overlook it. It's good for us to take a cup of chamomile tea and mostly for after your day, after when you're just so stressed before you go to bed, it will help you sleep very well and you wake up the next morning full of energy and all that. And it, and it is also good for our liver health. Uh, it also helps to regulate our blood sugar. Uh, it helps to reduce inflammation. So if you have inflammation, chamomile tea is one fast one to use to treat it. I also mentioned I talked about um, I, I talked about when my uh, my when my daughter put her hands in my eyes and for some days I couldn't really see everything was kind of foggy and my eyes were so red and tears were was just rolling down constantly and then someone said to me did you try it because I tried a lot of stuff it was it, the pain was not going away and someone said. Did you try chamomile? And I was like, how can I forget? That, like, that's like something I have abundance at home. How can I forget? So I boiled the tea, allowed it to sit for a bit, and then I used my cotton wool, dipped it in the tea, placed it on my eyes, and I just lay down on the couch. After some minutes, I really didn't time myself or I, I just stayed there for over five minutes, I believe. When I removed the uh, wool, I, I couldn't feel any pain. I was blinking and blinking, blinking my eyes. Like the pain disappeared immediately. And after a while, my eyes were also so clear, you know, from the redness and all that. So I know that it is also good for wounds and all and um, inflammation. Oh, 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 oh. Who is sleeping on the road? <laughs> So let me go check my tea. <laughs> I have, if I have it. If you don't, well, when next you go for shopping, Vanessa, are you, <laughs> don't don't sleep, don't sleep and miss your um your Hi. bus. <laughs> don't, don't don't sleep and miss the bus station where you're supposed to stop and go for your class. Then the next thing they take you to the, the end of the city or the next city. This one you're saying you're going to sleep on the road. And chamomile tea is also uh, is also good for our hair. You know, it helps to give us healthy hair also. And that is why that is why if you take notes, you notice that most of the products we use, even for our kids. Uh, like the baby wipes, I don't know if I have any now. Let me see if I have any baby wipes that has, excuse me. I used to buy different um, types so I can just give you an example of what I'm talking about. But so many products like the, uh, even the stuff that we use to wash dishes, Sorry for the noise. I'm trying to open the bag where I have wipes. Yeah. Here, like I have this one. You can see it here. The uh, baby wipes. 
and this one is a different stuff. But you notice that even for the kids' um, uh, products, you will see that they always add a bit of um, chamomile in it because it is very good. And if you notice, even some of our, our cream, soaps, and things like that, you will see that it has chamomile extract in it because chamomile is super healthy. Uh, it will help in um, digestion. So some people are, you know, sometimes the stomach is just somehow that you it doesn't digest easily. <laughs> yes, green tea. Green tea is good. It's good. For me, I used to take um, uh, Lord Nelson. That's the the brand that I used to I used to buy, just because I have noticed that Lord Nelson has so so many variety of uh, tea. Like they mix different herbs in different um, tea that they. Let's try. That they, they they make so it's just for me it works good for me let me see if i can grab one of it just a second Okay, I'm back. All right. So me, I have like my in here. This is my camomile. This this camomile that I just showed you now was actually processed by ninety. She ninety years old or ninety ninety something years. That's my husband's uh, grandma. She likes to go and collect the chamomile because where she, where she lives, she has um, she lives in like a mountain area, so there's a lot of chamomile. Like this daisy plant is so many there, so she always likes to go by herself. She's so old, but she's very strong and agile, so she will go and collect these chamomile these chamomile plants. She will dry it herself. When it's dry, she will store it. When someone is coming, she will send for she will send for all her children and her grandchildren. You know, so that's how I get I get in a in a plastic bag and then I, I just put it in a can like this. I'm almost I'm almost out. Then I talked about Lord Nelson. I use this. Uh, I don't know. If, yeah. This Lord Nelson that has like different herbs. Then another one that is also good is this one with a lot of like berries. This is also Lord Nelson. This one is like red, is like red tea. And it is like super good. It smells so nice. Here. You just dip it in hot water. And I, I love the fact that it's just, it's easy to make, you know, it's quick. Sorry. Ouch. I dropped something. Oh, oh. You're so right. You're so right. The tea in this cold weather is just the go-to. It's like the best. Because it will not only help you to get rid of cold, it will just keep you in good health and prevent you from catching certain things that you're not supposed to. As it helps to, you know, it helps free radicals, just so, so many things. It boosts your immune system. And that is very good because of a healthy and strong immune system means your, your system is ready to fight off uh, 
all kind of foreign bodies, bacteria, and so on and so forth. Uh, is that um, Vanessa? Is that a brand? Well, you said gro uh, Grona tea is very good. Is that a brand? Is a brand name or the type of uh, tea? <laughs> right. <laughs> that that is true if you're if you're uh, if you are close to people that are into this herbal life stuff it is always oh my goodness i remember okay let me tell you people's story growing up my my dad's elder sister she's someone that not not only his two of his elder sisters actually they are so into this traditional african traditional herbal life and all that and one of them is like She's, I, I, I would just call her a professional masseuse. Like, she is good in massage. Like, I'm not talking about just regular massage. She can actually massage um, pregnant women. Uh, if you, if you, uh, you break a bone or something, you know, after she can actually massage you and to, back to health. And the other one is good with these herbs to treat malaria and you know, all those type of illnesses that she has, she has her own uh, herbs that she will go and collect and she will never tell anyone the combination, like everybody, people from the next community will come and look for her just to buy that, uh, because they don't know the complete herbs that she uses. She uses multiple herbs to cook in a giant pot, you know, these giant pots that Africans always use to make herbs. Something is going on. What happened? Someone's message is restricted. Let me see. Oh. <laughs> Ah, that's the name of the green tea. Ah, it's, ah, ah green tea in German. Ah, okay. <laughs> you pack all your green, your all your green tea to to church for other people to take. Since it is really, really good, you should. If, well, if you're not um, if you're not a fan of green tea, then you should just try once a week, switch it with your coffee. Depending on how many times you drink coffee, and I believe someone like you that drinks a lot of coffee, that means it's almost every day you must take coffee. Every day you must take coffee. So at least one day of the week, switch your coffee with one of the green tea that you have available. It is super healthy. Look it up. You will see it. It's just the health benefits of green tea is just numerous, and it's just so good. You know, it's good that as we try to keep our outside looking good, we should also think about some what can help our inside to be healthy. You know, so we don't um, end up with certain now that all these different types of bacteria and viruses and all that are flying around the planet. It, so it's just good for us to protect ourselves as much as we can. So green tea is your go-to because it's always it's just, and for me, why I love green tea because you have those other tea that are very strong and uh, not so nice in the mouth, like the taste is not so great, but they are super healthy too. So those type you squeeze your face and you drink them, but in terms of green tea, green tea is very light. And most of them, the smells are so soothing and it's so calming. And so it's easy for you to drink because it's very light and it's not so strong. Yay! 
loves coffee, the person is not going to be your friend anymore. <laughs> then immediately you tell them that too much of coffee is not good, they're not going to be your friend anymore. Or they're going to, uh, or they're going to look for a way to defend why coffee is good and why you should take coffee, you know. So immediately you just mention that they're like, what? Are you sure you want to be my friend? <laughs> but it, it is true. Too much, actually, too much of everything is bad, just in general. I remember a story of um, someone that used to drink this uh, Lipton tea a lot. And he would always drink this Lipton tea with every meal. Like, it's a must. Every breakfast for so many years in his life, he was always drinking this uh, Lipton tea. After a while... His body got so used to it that he started shaking. He was, he got to a point that he could not hold. He could don't don't don't. He got to a point that he could not hold anything. He got to a point where he could not hold stocks. He was always shaking, and they took him to the hospital. And after everything, they found out that it was because of too much. Lipsing in his system, and he had to stop. <laughs> so it is the same thing with even this uh, chamomile. It's not you no. Know, some people drink and like, ah, should I drink? Some people are like, should I drink chamomile tea every day? But like, ah, how can you drink chamomile tea every day for the next maybe six months? Why? You no, know, just every other day. You drink your chamomile tea if you if you're someone that drinks coffee or any other type of drink you include it the only thing that you should drink every day is water that is very good that will help flush your system uh keep your skin looking beautiful and uh so on you know but some people don't mind they just once they love something or they enjoy taking something they will always take it That is true. That is true. Yeah, yeah. She said, but it's true, my dear. The truth is bitter. But must say, must say it's plain. Must must say it's plan. Ah, some people take more than three cups of coffee a day. That is so true, and that scares me really. When I hear people say, um, I cannot, I cannot do without. Like I have to take three to five cups. I'm like, what the heck are you doing with? three to five cups of coffee in a day. <laughs> Is that not too much? And they're like, no, sometimes I even go more. It's just, it depends. If I'm so busy, then I, I can take three cups or five. It's, <laughs> it's just, it's too much. The, the caffeine uh, in the, in the uh, caffeine in the system is just too much. Five cups of coffee a day. I just can't get it. But so, for some people, they really cannot start their day without these um, stops because they, they're just so used to it, which is not right. Uh, uh, flourishing, you're going, you're going out or you're coming back? Because I see you, you wrote, I'm um, on my way. Are you going to walk? Or school, or you're coming back. <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> Vanessa says, Yes, Amara, I know, right? But I don't take it always. No, <laughs> she's laughing. <laughs> Vanessa, for the fact that you added that LOL at the end, that means. You take it every day, or maybe you take like two cups, eh? You take one in the in the morning, mostly on the days that you have to go, you have to go to school or go out of the house. I can I can actually agree that maybe weekends you don't, but I believe when you have to go to school, you have to 
take your coffee with you and then when you come back in the evening you have to take one more cup right <laughs> Amara says, Melissa is guilty. Melissa is guilty of it all, right? <laughs> Amara, how do you know? Do you both live on the same street? Even if you live on the same street, it's possible for her to put her um, a cup of coffee in her bag while she's passing in front of your house so you will not see that she's going to school or to work with a cup of coffee on her hands, you know? And for those people watching in the background, don't take it serious. We're just talking about um, how about life and why people should try to take more herbs. Excuse me, guys. I cannot believe what you have just done, Richard. <laughs> Okay, so this lady decided to finish her cream. That's nice. Come, 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 let me clean your hand. Uh, okay, so as I was saying, people in the background, don't take it serious. If you're a coffee drinker, we're just joking, okay? <laughs> we're just saying, don't take too much coffee. Give me your hand, give me your hand. We're just saying, don't take too much of coffee. As too much of everything is bad, even the green tea. It's not as if you should drink uh, 20 cups of green tea every day, you know, or take it morning and night, morning and night, morning and night for the next six months. No, we're just saying if you're a coffee drinker and you don't drink tea so much, just switch it up, you know. Once in a while, one day of the week or two days of the week, remove coffee from your list and replace it with any of the healthy tea. Sorry guys, I'm talking and I'm cleaning the hands of my little one because she just finished the cream. She just finished her bomb bomb cream. Because I see we have people in the background that are watching us, but they are not joining the conversation. So I'm just trying to explain that uh, I know that coffee drinkers are always very sensitive, but you tell them not to drink coffee. So don't, don't take it serious. All we're saying is just try to drink tea. Try to include tea in your in your list because it's very good there's so much health benefits <laughs> right 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 our amara loves the uh, hands and uh you know stuff like that <laughs> I saw I uh, it was it was Amara, right? Um Amara. You uh you're the one that did the uh, face mask. I was watching it yesterday. It's you, right? The video of how to stay uh, younger with um Yeah, I, th I think I think it's Amara that did that uh, video, and I was like, "Oh wow, <laughs> wow, this is this is good." The face mask with uh, potatoes and so on and so on. Well, if you're here, you've not seen the video. Go and check it out if you are, because women are always conscious of their face. So <laughs> if you've not seen that video, check it out. In um, I think it's Amara. It's Amara's channel. Yeah, she just said, "Yeah, yes, host, yes." Uh, Mara did a very a very nice video, and I I know this is like I, I was surprised that she didn't say uh, something in the lines of this is for my ladies because you know women are always very conscious of their looks you know like 
Mm, mostly the face. Everyone wants to have their face all looking smooth and no. Uh, sure. Sure. Yeah. And 10 years younger, or if, if possible, 20, 30 years younger than our <laughs> real age. So that's a very good mask that you should try out for someone that you're super into. I want my face to look this way. I want my face to look that way. I really love that video. Coffee helps me a lot on. Oh, wait. Let me read it here. Okay. Vanessa says, but Amara, coffee helps me a lot oh, in staying awake. But I know. Ah. Yeah, people say that, but. Uh, maybe. But I know too much of it is not good. Yeah, people say people say that about coffee. Am I the only one that coffee has no effect on? I, I remember I'm laughing, but this as they always say, sorry. As they always say that uh coffee keeps you, it helps you to stay awake because of the caffeine in it. For me, it doesn't have any effect if I want to sleep. I will fall asleep that very minute. So um, in school, I remember when uh, my friends were like, okay, we're going to do all night reading. And so when, it, when it's time to start, they will come with all this coffee. And me personally, I do not like coffee at all. Now I have to force myself to drink coffee. After drinking the coffee, I'm still the first person to fall asleep among everyone that is doing all my reading and they just cannot understand how is it that other people are struggling to sleep because it keeps them awake but me it doesn't have that it doesn't have that effect on me i don't know why that um uh, that is that is true amara um so yeah that is why some people take it too much yes it's true and and you know coffee it's kind of addict, um, addictive you know when you take coffee so much then you, you get so used to it that you cannot do without it it's not like tea and um, uh, some other drink even the chocolate drink is not addictive it's just something that you, you can take and if you want to stop you can stop but with coffee, it's almost like cigarettes that you smoke, and you see smokers there, like, ah, I want to stop, but I can't. It's the same thing with the coffee. Coffee drinkers, they, it's very difficult to get them to uh, stop the that habit. Let me see. Okay, Vanessa says, see, I sleep like 1 p.m. almost every one, but I am up by 6 a.m. And I don't really sleep all day. Yeah, that is something, huh? Wow. Whoa. Um, but is it? Wait, let me see. It's 1 p.m. So we have 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, wow. Is it, Vanessa, is it because of, is it because of the LS? If it's because of the LS, then maybe you should cut down a little bit. So at least you can get eight hours because I, I was just counting. That's what I was counting on my, on my hands. It's like five hours. It's like five hours sleep and you should try to get at least eight hours sleep once in a while. Okay. Oh, tea is ready. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, let's go, let's go. Team green tea. <laughs> Team have our life. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Let's boost our immune system. Let me see the comment. Really? 
I, Amara, Amara said, I can't remember the last time I take coffee. I'll tell you, I do. Me, I remember the last time I took coffee, and then I said, no, I'm not going to take coffee anymore. That was like, mm -mm, it is February. Then probably the first week of February or so. <laughs> I was just waking up from sleep, and next day, I was like, do you care for a cup of coffee? Because he was making a cup of coffee for himself. And I, me too, with the sleep in my eyes. And then I said, ah, okay. And then he brought it, and I took a sip, and then I put my head back. Just you know, rest a little bit because my daughter was not awake yet. So I was like, okay, let me just. I don't know why I'm waking up so early. She's still sleeping. And then I was just drinking the coffee and sleeping, drinking the coffee and sleeping. And then the next thing, when I woke up after I finished, uh, and then later in the afternoon, I was like, my eyes were turning me, and then I was kind of, kind of shaking. I was like, what the heck is going on? And then I remember that I just drank coffee on empty stomach. Anytime I try that, it always messes me up. So I was like, well, coffee is not for me, so no need. I will just stick to my tea. <laughs> so that's what I do. It's like five hours, Amara, when I calculated, it's like five hours. Um, Amara, Amara said, Vanessa, you sleep very late. Or how many hours sleep do you get? I think it's five hours. Yes, she just she just said it. <laughs> Five hours is really small. Every day. No. <laughs> right? I just I just suspected that the LS is well well sis, what you should do is maybe um take two hours off your LS. Because I see sometimes you stream for like five hours. So maybe you stream for like three hours. Then add the other two hours to your five hours sleep. What do you think? Because sleep is very important, and we all have to get at least eight hours sleep, at least. So even if you cannot get eight, even if it's seven or six, but I think five is too small. Because over time, over time, it will start showing on your face if you're getting less and less sleep. Let's see. Jason and Whitey contribute to <laughs> Abby. This Whitey, they maybe put their 29 cards in there. <laughs> Whitey Wahala. Oh, no, for me, I can take them as I see. I'm like, I'm not saying from the from that first year when I'm not just meet the um my uh, target. I'm not, I'm not rich, I get my uh, 1K, but I'm not get the four. Uh, Four um, thousand WHS. So, slow down. I'm not saying anytime you come, make it come. Whether it take five years to come, make it come. Anybody where they laugh and so they play for YT, that will concern the person. But just, I know and I believe that someday I will get there. That's how I do it. So I don't I don't stress about it anymore. In the evening, European time. I said, host, I have premiere today by 6.30 p.m. European time. I'm inviting all in the chat. Sure. Sure. We will come in and watch that premiere by 6. But I, 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 I don't know if my time is like an hour ahead of you people, almost. I think so. Because I notice when when uh, Vanessa is always saying I will stop my LS by eleven, for me it's always twelve. Ah, Christiana, Christiana Flores, she says every day I walk, I drink uh, coffee. Ah, that's what you take to break. Ah, okay. Yes, yes, uh, Amara. Yes, that's that's what I was thinking. 
if she would analyze it, I think she would be she would be able to. <laughs> I, <laughs> Vanessa, why are you shining your eyes? That's true now because your stream sometimes is five hours and and uh, above. So if you can if you can cut down, if you can cut down, then you'll be able to get. If you remove two hours, then you have three hours straight live streaming, and then. Two hours added to the five hours. You get seven hours of sleep. Yay! <laughs> you know, sleep is important to keep you sane and all else. After a while, you, you start feeling like you're going crazy or something, but that's just because you're not getting good sleep. Enough sleep. Not really good sleep. Enough sleep. You understand me? And and Vanessa, another thing, the fact that you always run your LS throughout the night, that is all that that is good because even if you even if you leave before time, like normally you leave by eleven, if you leave, let's say nine or ten, if you leave, okay, let's say ten, if you leave ten, and you still run it till the morning the way you do, people will still come in. Because you have already, for you, you have already built, um, you've already built a family. Even if it's for now, it's still small. It's something. You, at least you have a family that people will all throughout the night as they come online, they will see that you're live streaming and they will show up and try to hang out just with people that they know on the live stream. And that is, that, that gives you um, watch hour. As people are in there communicating and connecting with each other on the live stream, you you're sleeping, so you, you must not really sit and talk through for so many hours every day. Some days just inform your viewers that you will be uh, leaving early today, but you will leave the LS running so people can come in and connect as usual. But they should just follow the rules of the games of the game. Let me see. <laughs> from, from the first few words I'm reading already, I'm just I cannot stop laughing. What, what are you saying, Vanessa? I say, Abara, you see, when you have not, when you have never worked in your life, and now I feel like this is my work. I'm just putting in my every effort in it. The annoying thing is that the village people self <laughs> Village people go fear now. I'm coming a second. This child is too quiet. All right, I'm back. When they are quiet, they're up to something. Good. Well, yeah, Vanessa, I understand. I understand you from what you're saying. Yeah, it's true. And I, for the fact that some people feel like this whole white city thing is just a joke, and we're just here putting ourselves. That's somehow. I think that is a pressure. Like I understand, it is pressure too because you're trying to prove yourself, and you're trying to prove the point that you're not actually just there for. The play, but you're this is like a job, and this is something you want to take serious. But still, you have to take it easy, you know. You will get there, it might take time, but you will surely get there for sure. Don't worry, don't worry about what people say. People will always talk, good or bad. There will be people to always criticize every move someone makes, you know. <sighs> okay, let's see. Yeah. Oh, what the white is all about. So, yeah. Oh, where do I live? Me? I'm all right. I live in Greece. Oh. 
Vanessa, you think so? Because I see here you, you wrote host, you don't understand. It is all about me doing what I like for once. It is all about me proving that yes, I can do it. I understand. I do. I, I understand. I understand you perfectly. Let me tell you a short story. Okay. So um, many years ago, uh, I think before before I before I even gained admission into university, I started um, modeling. And when I started. We will go for training, you know, so you, you have to start with your money. You have to buy the, the, the shoes, the high heels, because you, you, if you use your regular high heel or there's someone in your family's shoe, you go to a real need because for, for training, you know, you people train on different type of uh, ground. They sometimes they train people on uh, on even grounds just so you can master your car to walk. Just, just so you can master your car to walk. Yeah, this little one is here. So you can master your car to walk, so should in case you are um uh, you, uh you're you're supposed to walk on a runway that is not even or is not properly done you will be able to walk and not break your legs or injure yourself or ruin the clothes of the designer or some of those things so we just go through this uh training or where we have to wear high heels for so many hours and so on and so forth now okay in order not to go too deep into the story I will tell you what. When I started, I started with my own money, buying clothes. And, you know, when you go for auditions, you need to wear special type of clothes. You have to buy those. Uh, and sometimes they, they take you people to go and help some people for events that they are doing. They ask you to bring certain type of clothes, certain types of uh, color. Even your shoe, you have to have, like, gold shoe, black, silver. These are like the main three colors that you should have. You buy all these things with your money because you're just starting out. You're not getting paid yet. You go for training. Nine, ten people are sleeping. Some people are there doing jobs. And at the end of the day, you don't even get paid. And people always look at it like, you know, people always look at me and always laugh. And like, you're just wasting your time. You're not making anything. And yet you're investing your own money, your own uh, heart and energy and everything. Fast forward a few years later, little by little, started doing jobs. And sometimes we'll get paid, paid as small as 5K. But that was something for me, coming back home and saying this is 5K, it's what I made from when I was not making anything at all, was something. We would work all day. But then we got to the extent where you start meeting people. You start um, getting connections. So you get to a place, sometimes that people talk about something and they're talking about for example, uh, okay, so yeah, we, uh, this government yeah. business, like, oh, okay, we worked for this person. They're like, what? Are you saying you've met this kind of uh, a person or you've been to this kind of place? Uh, one a good example I will give you was when we um, we had to go to work for work in Benin City. You might not know him, but he's like an influential person that every person that's from Edo State knows him and respects him, even the governor of Edo State. That is a uh, Benidian. The man, we had to go and work for him. And I remember when, when I when someone said something about uh, they're talking about his invention, and I was like, ah, oh, we worked for him. He's a very funny person. That's like, what are you saying? You met someone like his Benidia? I said, no, we did. We didn't just meet his Benidia. We met his Benidia. We met his son, Lucky, that was ex governor. We also met Adam so Shamole and all that. So sometimes when you start out something, people will always laugh at you. But then you will get to the level where people will. You start getting connections. Sometimes, even this whitey, sometimes it's not all about what whitey will pay you, you understand, but it's about meeting the kind of friends that you have and family you build in here. So don't, don't, don't put pressure on yourself, Vanessa. I understand fully that people always laugh, like you people are white, you don't make anything, and you spend all day playing online. No, that's what people think, but when to start paying out, it might not even be what, because what whitey pays is not really that massive, it's not really big, what? One euro for one thousand views, but that's nothing. But it's because you love what you're doing. So don't 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 over put pressure on yourself just because people are uh, saying that you will not make it on YT or you're just a plane. Don't worry. Over time you will grow. Over time you will get monetized. Just take it easy, sis. I understand completely. You know, I understand. Like this is something that I have been through before, so I understand. So that's why I mean, I'm not even what. I've been here for a while, but yes, I'm still not monetized. I'm not close with watch hours, but I knew I would get there. So every time we say, it's like, remember, for me, that's my words. If I say, remember now that you're laughing, 
but I will be the one to laugh last. As far as you don't give up, consistency is the key. You will get there. Don't worry, sis. Don't stress. Yes, but I go to school in Whitey daytime and the town sometimes doesn't go to Hibani, so I stay with them. Daytime LS is not too good for me. Okay, I understand. I did my LS in the daytime every Monday to Saturday for 10 hours. Wow, that's a lot of hours, man, Amara. Are you serious, Flourish? Flourish is saying, host, you should see when Amara was looking for her um, hours. I have so much respect for her. Wow. 10 hours streaming, man. That's a long time. <laughs> was it, is it that she was, um, Amara, were you sitting in front of your camera for 10 hours or? Or you were just streaming for some hours in front of your camera and then um, putting it on silent stream for the rest. Of course, 10 hours is a long time. <laughs> I wish I could do that. Whoa. But Vanessa, I see here you said daytime LS is not, uh, is not too good for me. But have you have you tried it? Have you tried the daytime LS? Have you tried to run run your um, LS during the day, even if you're not there? You just run it, but put it in your wardrobe as you used to do, as, as in silent and cover it. Try try it and see. It might might work, you know. Ah, Christiana, thank you very much for coming. You said, "Bye, um, bye, host. Let me go do my now." Uh, are you going? Are you going live, Christiana? Are you going live now? Thank you very much for coming. I appreciate. It. Thank you so so much. Thank you, Christiana. Uh, yeah, you, uh, yeah, Vanessa, you talked about it. You said, I should have rest now, too, but I'm with the twins now. The, uh, you talked about it yesterday. You said they, um, they, their nanny is not feeling too well. You're really trying, sis. You, you're really, really trying. The twins... <sighs> I know it's not easy at all. It's not. And this, this are brother where they live with mama, no day, but no day, sister, no day, brother, no day, nobody to help person. I can understand. It's not easy at all. It is not. No, they don't even understand. They don't know if white it pays or not. Yes, that, that's the truth. A lot of people, a lot of people don't know. That's why when they see you doing white tea, they just think you're joking. But is that not the more reason why you should just be smiling when they keep teasing you? Because they do not know anything about white. So when your paycheck will start coming in, it doesn't matter how small it is, so but you will be able to say, You were laughing at me. Now look, look what um uh, YouTube paid me, you know, for doing this. So that's why I'm just saying, take it easy. Don't worry, you will get there. You will get there, okay? When Google AdSense will send you your letter and you're like, this is coming from Google, okay? <laughs> and then you got to get your maximum respect. They're going to put cap for you. They're going to do ballet for you. You understand? So don't worry yourself. Don't let anything stress you. See this life? And so it be. And so it be. People will always talk. People know mostly things that people don't understand. And that's what people talk about more. So don't worry yourself. We'll get there. 
It will still take time, but it will happen. You understand? It will take time, but it will happen. What is that? Look at this, 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 this person. Hey, drink tea. We're talking about herbal tea. <laughs> All right, open the door. Open the door. Open. Open the door. Go. Yes. Oh, sorry, it's what it is. Being a mom. Kids will always come and interrupt whatever you're doing. That's just a thing. Ah, okay. So as you you uh, as you came back, you went you left for work, eh? Uh, this is not easy at all. It is not. But the Lord is your strength, sis. The Lord is your strength. Don't worry. Very soon, very soon, you're going to be rejoicing, throwing that um, monetization party. And that, right? <laughs> We will be jubilating with you via uh, a camera, right? We will join the party via Zoom. Cutting cake, eating rice and stew, <laughs> popping champagne, right? <laughs> so don't, don't worry, it will happen. It will happen. It will. It will happen, don't worry. But um um Vanessa they, they, uh, they don't sleep in the afternoon so maybe if they if they sleep and you too you can catch like even if it's one hour sleep you don't put them to sleep in the afternoon I mean the twins probably before their uh, siblings will come back from school. Don't worry, okay? All right, okay, so backstory, if you're just joining us today, we're just sitting out and talking about how about life, okay? We're just talking about how important herbs are and how you should use those herbs that you see around you to your own benefits because some of most of them are very good. And sometimes we overlook these herbs. Meanwhile, these are still the same things that are in the products that we use in our everyday life. From our uh, body lotion to our soaps to um, even the ones we use to wash our clothes, dishes, and so on. Our hair products, our makeup, they all involve different types of uh, stuffs that are gotten from the forest. You know, so if you take your time to read through most of the products you're using, you will find out that the list of things that they mention that are used are things that are gotten from the forest. So that's why we, those of us in the fitness industry and this Herbal Life people, we're always pushing and trying to encourage people to take or adopt more of this lifestyle of using herbs when you can, you know, like making all these healthy type of teas and um, oh, and, and making all, also very um, soft for your skin and your hair just to make sure that you are in good health, your outside look looks good, 
also as your inside. So today we talked about green tea and we just mentioned few stocks that green tea is good for, mostly chamomile tea, not just because green tea, there's a wild var uh, variety of green tea. Putting them to bed soon. Ah, okay, 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 that's good. Immediately go to sleep, please, sis, drop your phone, put your phone down and join them, please. Just leave everything you have to, even if you have to clean the house, anything, just leave it for now. Immediately they sleep, go to sleep too. I'm going to round up this live stream uh, too because I have to go and um, see how I can shoot a video that I will upload because today is Monday too. So I will round, round up the live stream too soon. All right, guys. So as I was saying, today we talked about chamomile tea, which there are so, so many types of green tea, which they are all good for whichever one you can lay your hands on. Lay your hands on it and start using it as it is very good. If you're using the uh, tea bags, uh, which are uh, these, I showed them earlier. If you're using tea bags like these, you're like Lord Nelson. After you finish using your tea bag, don't throw it away because the stuff that is inside is good for exfoliating your skin. So you can use, you open the bag, you know, after you finish, when you bring out the tea bags with it, you can open it and use that inside, mix it with uh, honey and use it for, to exfoliate your skin as honey is also very good. So we just, we talked about chamomile today, but in general, we're saying green tea is healthy and it's good to take green tea because it will help you relieve stress. It will improve your sleep because it, keeps you calm and calms all your nerves and all that and it allows you to sleep peacefully at night. It also supports skin health, which is what I just mentioned now. So if you're working, as you're working from outside, this green tea or chamomile tea is working from the inside. At, at, at the end of the day, you come out with a very beautiful skin and your internal organs are intact and in good health too. Uh, chamomile tea also aid in digestion, so it helps because sometimes some people, uh, their inner system is not working properly, so they find it very difficult to digest whatever they consume. Chamomile tea will also help you to uh, digest easily so you don't feel stressed. Uh, then chamomile tea will also prom it helps in promoting uh, healthy hair if you use it. I use it sometimes to, to wash my hair and all that. So, and so it's, it's working from inside and outside too. As I said, if you're someone that you could drink the tea, so as it's working from inside and you're using it outwardly too, it helps very well. And uh, chamomile tea also improves liver functions. You know, so as, as I, as I uh, talked about it before, it's good to make sure that our system is working properly. So it will help your liver to function properly if you drink the tea. It also helps in reducing in, uh, inflammation. I talk, I shared the story of how I had my eyes and I used it on my eyes and it was really good. And I've heard story of people that have used it for wounds and other types of inflammation. And they also confirmed that it works properly and it works good. Um, it also boosts immune system. It helps to regulate blood sugar, which is something that most people are concerned about. You know, it's not, not good to uh, not have um, a, a regulated blood sugar. So consuming this tea will also help you with that. So that's very good. Oh, oh okay. I thought he went to work. Yeah, no, still working at no, still working at home. Ah, okay. No, <laughs> no party. Which party? Putting them to bed soon. Ah, okay, it's all done. One p.m. Host, I need to go now. There. Yeah, see you next time. Bye. Thank you very much, Amara. Thank you so so much. Thank you. Thank you very much for stopping by. You will see us by six. In the evening, I will look out for that one. 
Yeah, thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much, Amara. I'm grateful. Thank you. So we will just round up. If you're someone that you have not been taking green any of the green tea or chamomile tea, try it out and just see how it feels. If you've not been taking it, I would suggest that you try it in the evening. Uh, because why? for one reason, why I'm really advocating for this drinking chamomile tea in the evening is because of the world we're living in. The world is so stressful and we have uh, to go to work. Some of us, our jobs are so very stressful. Uh, some of us are family people, like mostly for women that they have to run their family, they have to go to work or they have to go to school. Some people are working, they're schooling and they have to run the family too. These are things that are very stressful for one. So by the end of the day, you feel drained, you feel tired, you're exhausted, you just you don't have any more energy. You know, if someone even say hello to you, you get upset because you're just so stressed and uh, you're so fond of uh, so much pressure. So it's good for you before you go to bed in the evening, boil your chamomile tea, drink it so it helps to relax you, keep you relaxed, relax your nerves and helps you to sleep peacefully and sleep beautifully. So you wake up the next day energized and feeling all positive and uh, all ready to tackle the next day um, chores. All right, guys, so I will be ending this here. We will see from time to time, we will just have a sit down to talk about different healthy stuffs that we can do or things that we have around us, even in our homes that we can use to promote or enhance our health uh, life and stay on the healthy path uh, and all that. So thank you very much for joining me. I am so grateful. Thank you, Vanessa Ogumbo Wale. Thank you, uh, Christiana Flourishing. Thank you, Amarakata. I'm so grateful. And those of you that just stayed in the background and didn't say anything, because I know some people don't really like to um, put themselves out there in, in social media. So I can understand that some people are just there in the background watching and listening, but they're not contributing. For those of you, I say a big thank you too very much. Thank you so much for joining in. Till next time, thank you so, so much for joining. I'm so grateful. Thank you, sis Vanessa. Thank you so much. I beg, try put the children for bed so you two will go sleep. Even if not one hour sleep, they're very important. It will help you. You understand? Thank you very much for staying with me as you just came in from school because I was surprised to even see you here. I know you will be back from around two o'clock or so, so I wasn't even expecting you on this LS today. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm grateful. God bless you. God bless each and every one of you. For now, this will be the end. Till next time. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye. See you next time. <laughs> okay, so thank you. Thank you to everyone. God bless. All right, till next time. Bye, everyone. Big kisses.